mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello everybody troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Heels and guys today I have some cold cold iced tea for you coming from the cold mountains of Salt Lake City because did you watch my Bravo Chill of yesterday? Girl. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Vibrate Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. Girl, I was doing my Bravo Cella yesterday with Dana Wilkie. Okay? So, like, if you haven't watched it, after you finish this video, you need to run and watch it from yesterday because it was so juicy, like so much tea was spilled right there. But she came with a little bump that I was not expecting. And I was like, girl, what do you mean? Like, wait, okay? Whew. According to Dana Wilkin, Harry Dobbin, you know, you know that Harry Dobbin, yeah? The one who has have sex with Ramona Singer, Luan De La Seb, Sonia Morgan. Uh, I, I think like every single woman in New York at this point and housewife, you know, like that Harry Dobbin, Dobbin, okay? So according to Dana, Harry Dobbin is talking about her encounters with Miss Meredith Marks, okay? And according to Harry Dobbin, Miss Meredith Marks is more into the Lady Pond than into either him or guys. I have no idea. And according, according to his experience. What does this mean? I have no idea. Okay. We are not here. I mean, I like it. It's 2022, you know. So if she's a lesbian or bisexual or pansexual or whatever, it really like doesn't matter, you know, like it really like you do you girl, do you like, I mean, who cares? But it, it's kind of like a bomb that are we going to believe this right now? Girl, like, so apparently while she was separated with Seth, she was da dating a bunch of men and women. Who else know about this? I have no idea. Now, this is very, like, it really surprised me because literally Meredith Marks was talking like two days ago on Watch What Happens Live and she acknowledged that she knows Harry Hamlin, uh, Hamlin, Harry Dobbin, and that they were never involved romantically. So now, is Harry... Like having his ego hurt and just saying maybe because she didn't want to have anything with him. Oh, now she is a lesbian or she's enjoying the company of ladies more. Or did something else happen that make him realize? Did, did he saw her doing something with another girl? We need to know, okay? Now, this is also very interesting because there are two pieces of tea out there. There has been like, you know, floating around, floating around. And like, you know, is this going to make sense? The first one, there were gay rumors about a husband, a husband who travels constantly to Chicago. Okay. And that he is meeting with guys to do his little things. I did, I, like, at the moment, I didn't really, like, like, a, a lot of people were saying Seth Marks, you know, and I was like, okay, maybe it's him, but I I don't know, you know, like, I didn't really put it over here, over there, but I am re-watching right now season one, and it kind of, like, everything came together when they say, I mean, Meredith is from Chicago, you know, and also that they literally said over there that Seth travels constantly to Chicago, uh, is he also bisexual? I don't care. 
like literally i don't get actually it will make me so so happy to know that Seth is bisexual somehow i'm just thinking like girl it's 2022 like everyone is in the spectrum you know like who cares you know like it will be so good to watch them coming forward and embrace her queerness you know, especially because they have Brooks and we all know that Brooks is gay. So like it will, but, but I, I'm thinking like, oh my God, I mean, this family, it's, this could be something that we could stand for, honestly, but they are not, the fact that they're not being honest, are they in the closet or or, or do they want to just like mm, not talk about it? I have no idea. And the second piece of tea that is, is like traveling like somewhere is that, um, you know, they were saying that Meredith and Jen, you know, were like messing with the same guy uh, in New York. But now they're also saying there was another piece of tea that no one really believed. And it was that Meredith ate or ate Jen's cookie, you know, on like a crazy night. And then Jen was going around saying that it was horrible or that something went wrong or like it smelled fishy or like, I don't know, some bullshit like that. Like someone was talking bad about the other one after they hook up. At the moment, I mean, I, I was like, okay, that's just too too weird. Okay, like how how is Jane Show and Married Marks are gonna end up in bed? It doesn't even really make sense, you know? But now when you hear this coming from Harry Dobbin and Dana Wilkie and they're saying like, yeah, she is into girls too. I'm thinking, hmm, could we? Because the same thing happened on Vanderpump Rules with uh, Ariana Maddox and Lala Kent, you know? And they literally come forward and was like, yeah, we were playing around and I ate her cookie, you know? Um, could be this. Could this be the same situation just like a couple years older? Girl, I mean, the craziness. It's just like Salt Lake City is giving us the craziness. And like so many things has been happening that I am not ruling out any possibility. Okay? Like I am not ruling out any possibility because we just don't know. Now, I don't think, I don't feel that Meredith is a lesbian. But I could definitely now with this information be like, okay, maybe she's a little bit into girls. Maybe she's a little bit bisexual. I mean, Right? But, like, again, Harry Dobbin gave me such creeps vibes that I also will not put it out of him to, like, m go there just because Meredith didn't want to sleep with him in New York. You know what I mean? So, I like, he will be like, oh, he, she doesn't want to sleep with me, then she must be a lesbian. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> To me, Harry is such a creep. Like, I don't even understand why so many people are sleeping with him. Like, does he have a magic penis? Like, what is happening? Like, do I need to find out? I have no idea. Um, but yes, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. This Bravo world is it's, it's getting crazier and crazier by the second. Um, so let me know what you think on the comments below. This was very, like, like bomb dropping tea that I was not expecting yesterday from Dana. So... I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But I'm going to be here more for it if if end up being truth and Meredith and Seth end up coming forward with their queerness. Like that will that will make more 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 like more a powerful statement to me. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that this is true? Do you think that it's Harry like just making shit up? Um I don't know. Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and I'll see you in an hour. See ya. Bye.